It's screaming for help. It's a young robot cub. Where the f is this loot at? Screaming for its mother. It's injured. We have to put it out of its mis- Are you serious? Uh. Like, I'm about to have f***ing fun, boys. R99 Purple Armor Pathfinder in Skulltown? Hell yeah. No one else is gonna have fun, though. Unless I get, like, Peacekeeper or Spitfire and just insta-die, but hey, you never know. Are they on the outside? Yeah. I'm gonna run through here, I guess. You got one gun here. Nice, good job. You should be at the top 10. Top 10 what? Statistics? I would rather die. Top 10 players? I think I'm already there. I'm definitely going down though. I'm definitely going down because there are people who still care about the game and I'm not one of them. So my like motivation to play is just slowly going down. Right now, I'm just focusing pretty hard on being a an enjoyable content creator for the most part. You might not agree and enjoy my content, that's fine. I'm just trying to be enjoyable as people want to be. Yeah, stats don't work. Uh, I hope the balance or the balancing team or developers uh, actually understand that. Do the pon pon. You guys want me to do the pon pon? Yeah, I'll do the pon pon at 6k subs, please. Just full sell out. If we hit it this week, because I don't want to be fucking like gifted a million subs one day and just like, hey, you have to do the pon pon now. I don't even know the pon pon actually. Yeah, 10 players. Oh, eight out of the top 10 players don't go about this game. Yeah. I mean, some some top players do, uh, but they, they give a fuck about the game in order to grow their streams, you know. Uh, clickbait titles, doing stuff that just like, yeah, stuff like that. Which, nothing wrong with that, of course. I, I'm just not one of them. Oh, hell yeah. I'm sorry, lost one. You have to die. Wait, what? Yeah, come, come get geared out, boys. What the? F what a spot at the I red. Diz if I can't play with my teammates, Dizzy and ACU, for whatever reason, I don't think I'll be playing. Uh, I don't enjoy playing with anyone else, and I don't want to like relearn the game to that point. It'd suck not to be able to play with the teammates I've been playing with for a long time. Even if that's through org restrictions or whatever, I don't care. It'll make me really sad if I can't play with them. And I know they really want to play with me too. But some things are just out of our control. I hope that doesn't happen though. King Richard, he's not really playing Apex anymore. I mean, I don't blame him. So it's me, Dizzy, Azu. Is there an NRG? I'd love to, but I'm in Houston Outlaws. Houston isn't supporting like an Apex team, but they're supporting me as much as they can as an Overwatch League org. But they can't, I don't know, it's just esports stuff. Oh shit, we're in fucking trouble, boys. I heard Dragon's in the prime. Let's just push that side if we can. Oh, I definitely overflicked that one. Wait, there's two teams in here. They're all armor broken. Holy f give me a f***ing skull, please, please, please. Pipeline, moving the dead bodies. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pick up the gold armor later, chat. There we go. Do they have nades? Yeah, they do, nice. Right? I'm 
many fucking teams are there? I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but they have invited me out. Uh, they've asked for my opinions to fly me out to talk about the future of the game and stuff like that. So, if I lose that opportunity because I mentioned it on stream, uh, I'll hope you guys just, you know, send me the donations equal to that. <laughs> but they do care. They do care. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Hyundai or something, but they, they, they do really care. They do really care. Uh, the question is how much of my feedback will I actually like be put in a position where it can be utilized, right? And I, I want to be transparent with you guys because I really care about the game and I'll have to take the day off uh, for it flying and stuff like that. Uh, but I do because I care about the game. So they do care and I am preparing like a bunch of stuff for when I go there. Uh, I'm even considering just writing a document that I can just bring them because I have a lot of opinions about this game and how they can correctly utilize like the position they, they're, they were in and the position they're in. Especially with in Fortnite still making dumb changes like removing pump for no reason. The first three things is definitely rushing rank or like customs at least so we can have a third party rank match because it's based on like face it or something, right? So they do care and I, I, I'm going to bring things up to them. I already have. I've already sent in a lot of feedback. But it'll be nice being able to do it in person and have actual conversations because maybe then I can understand things more. Um, I don't know how much I'll be able to actually talk about because they might tell me things that aren't officially announced. And if they tell me things expecting uh, me to keep that in good confidence, I don't want to betray that, uh, no matter how much I want to be transparent with you guys, because I want to be able to help the game first and foremost, rather than be seen as an honest person who leaks things he's not supposed to leak, right? It's detrimental to not only myself, but also uh, I think the state of the game in the future as well, if they want to ask for my opinions and share information with me that I can't talk about publicly, because I want to make sure I don't lose a position where I can give them my feedback, because that's important. Yeah, they can also make me sign an NDA, but if they make me sign an NDA, I wouldn't be able to talk about signing an NDA. That's breaking the NDA. <laughs> that's that's saying that I've signed an NDA and can't talk about things. That's that's literally breaking the NDA saying that they, they told me things I can talk about. Though as of right now, I haven't signed one. I have requested one though. I have requested like, hey, sign me on an NDA so I can just like can help you guys. Like I want to be able to provide as much like feedback as I can before actual releases of patches, right? Because. I'd say under an NDA, not necessarily always. Some NDAs don't let you. Some NDAs do actually. Some NDAs let you say you're under an NDA, but not from who or on what. So I can say I've signed under an NDA, but sometimes you can't say you signed under an NDA for Respawn or EA or Apex Legends or Overwatch. There are all different restrictions. I've signed a lot of NDAs, so I know. It just depends on the NDA specifically. Near death experience. Yeah, Respawn had to sign one of those for Apex. 